Hey guys, it's Joel and welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to show you five quick and cheap mods that you should do to your Z4. Okay, so I would like to go through these modifications in a order. Um, it's the order that I would do them in if I was to buy a new Z4 tomorrow, um, not necessarily the order I've done them in my car. Now, long-term viewers of the channel will probably know what the first modification I'm gonna speak about here because of my videos and also where I'm standing. It is, of course, the back box delete. Now, exhaust modifications are always popular and I know they're popular on Z4s and there are many, many options but this is the one that I went for. It is the back box delete, and I'd say the best thing about it, apart from the sound, is how cheap it is to do. It cost me 150 pounds, which if you're watching in the US is about $200 as of the time of filming this video. And it's very, very simple. It can be done in just an hour or two. Uh, you get someone to saw off before the back box. That all comes off with your original exhaust tips. And then they weld on some new pipes to replace the gap that also have tips as well. Uh, and the results are brilliant. Obviously it's not valve control, so the noise is sort of always there, which is, I'd say, the main disadvantage. So I strongly recommend this modification to anyone who's on a budget. The results are fantastic for the price you pay. But that's not the only reason. The other reason is because of this. <laughs> second modification I would recommend you do to your Z4 is to ditch the run flat tyres. Now, as standard, these Z4s came out of the factory in Germany with run flat shoes all around. A good idea, I suppose, because it means if you do catch yourself getting a puncture, then the tyre should at least survive uh, to get you home as you don't have a spare tyre in the boot of these Z4s. However, I have never had a flat tyre, luckily, and ditching them and changing them for conventional tires really and significantly improves the handling and the ride quality of these cars. Also a big complaint from Z4 owners who are driving these cars on the run flats is tram lining. You will have heard what that is. You probably know what it is, but let me just explain briefly. It is essentially where there's cracks or cambers in the road and these tires or the run flat tires are very bad at tram lining, meaning that they follow the cracks in the road which I guess it's not very fun, but it can also be slightly dangerous, meaning that you're unexpectedly being pulled to one side or something like that. So needless to say, I strongly recommend you ditch the run flat tires if you uh, are driving your Z4, mainly for the pleasure. Moving on to the inside of the car then. Uh, if your primary goal with the Z4 is driving pleasure, the next mod that I would recommend you go for is replacing the gear knob. Now, actually, I've got the original one right here. Um, this is what most three-liter Z4s like mine will come with, uh, but you can replace it with a weighted M gear knob, which is obviously found in the Z4Ms. This one is actually the same size as the original, uh, but you can get snubby versions as well, which I think are probably even better than this. And you might just be thinking, well, it's just a gear knob, and you're right, but the added weight actually and feel of these nicer gear knobs uh, does make all the difference when you're sort of downshifting or changing gear quite aggressively. And the other benefit of it is that it's a very simple mod to do. You literally just twist and pull the gear knob off. You should be careful not to knock yourself out as you do it. Uh, yeah, and I think you can pick these knobs up for about £50, so... Um, yeah, fantastic mod, but again, just adds to the whole driving experience of one of these Z4s. Modification number 
location number four then, and easily the most subjective one of the five that I'm talking about today, uh, are these black grills. Um, the reason I'm including it is because I think it makes a big difference to how the car looks, uh, in a positive way in my opinion. And again, very cheap mod to do. I think I bought these grills off eBay. Uh, it was less than 50 pounds, it might have even been less than 40 pounds. Again, around 60 to 70 US dollars. Uh, and they're extremely easy to fit, you can do it at home. I did actually film myself installing these grills to my car. It was a little while back, it was probably the first mod I actually did do to this Z4. I made a little bit of a mess of it. But if you are interested anyway, seeing how it's done and a bit more information on the grills, uh, click the banner up here in the top right of your screen. Lastly, once you have done all of those other awesome mods, the last one I'd recommend you do to your car is use the MyCarly software to code your key so that you can put your roof up remotely. Look at that for timing. Now, my generation of Z4, i.e. 2003 to 2005 pre-facelift, do not have this functionality as standard. However, if you do fancy it, you can actually code your key using the Carly OBD reader and application on your phone. Uh, yeah, and you can code the roof to open and close remotely, which is fantastic fun. Just a novelty, obviously not an essential. Uh, however, if you do decide you want to do this, you can actually get 20% off the OBD reader using the link and coupon code in my description. So I wanted to leave that last one for you guys that stay to the end of the video as a little reward that you can get 20% off your OBD reader. However, I hope you've enjoyed this video guys. As always, comment below anything you think about this video, uh, if you disagree with some of my modifications, any other modifications that you'd like to see me do or that you've done to your Z4s. And if this video gets 200 likes, I will find another five modifications to talk about in a separate video that you should do to your Z4. Anyway guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Uh, some really exciting content coming soon. In just a few days, I'm heading over to Monaco again for top marks and then there's some other mental travel and stuff coming up soon. Also, I have now filmed the first episode of the eagerly awaited Soft Top Showdown series. And that will be coming to your screens on Saturday the 8th of June at 2 p.m. if all goes to plan. Anyway, that's it from me, guys. Thank you again so much for watching this video, and I will see you very, very soon.